Welcome to you, Kenny. In this video, I'm going to show you how to tap into your car's computers. And your car today does not have just one computer, one main computer that runs everything. In fact, there's a lot of little diff computers that do different things. Now, typically, a lot of scanners will connect to the engine control unit because it is one of the main uh, control units that runs the engine. But cars today don't just have that. They have, in this case, for example, we have a lot of different uh, control units or uh, small computers they're called uh, uh, modules in some cases but if you run a if you use the Ucanic scanner you can go to diagnostics and run a quick scan and it'll go through all the different modules on the car as you can see here and it'll tell you which ones have full codes but this one says the door module in this car has its own control unit you can click on it and you can look at the codes you can see the status if it's stored it's a, usually a, a, not a current issue, so a lot of these codes can be cleared. But if you have one that says current, uh, look, there's a for the trunk, there's a, its own control unit in this car, so you can see what's going on there. Uh, hydraulic pump has an open circuit, so uh, the, the lift gate is not working in this case. So you have all these control modules, look, 51 control modules, a lot of them don't have codes, but some do. Uh, you can click here and look at the codes and see what's current, what's stored. You can hit erase down here, it'll go through all of them and erase all the codes that are stored. The ones that are current means you gotta fix that issue. You can also enter that control module. You can enter any of these for that matter. You can go to the transmission or the airbag or the air suspension in this car. Uh, and then you can, for example, go, you can read the codes again that we saw earlier. You can look at live data where basically all the sensors that send information to this control module, you can look at that data. These are the codes. See, look at that. Look at you can look at all these things, um, and there is even more down here. Temperatures, whatever you want to look at, it's it's going to be in here. So you can see all these data. They're changing live as as you as you look at them. Uh, but then you can also test things. In this case, we can turn on. Uh, the throttle position fuel pump mixture adaptation we can change that we can vary all these values and then so that's only the engine control unit that's only one control unit. you got transmission you can do the same thing you got um air suspension airbag module yeah look at that we got our suspension right here and we can clear codes for many of them we don't have codes on this uh air suspension but we can look at live data and then we can see voltages, we can see the level of the vehicle, level sensors, you can see position of each sensor, but guess what? We can also control the air suspension, for example. Go to active tests, and then uh, level valves, and then we can ma manually like raise or lower the car. Look, I can set driving level, put 60 here, uh, 60 there, I press OK. and then uh, we'll activate it, and what we'll do, the car will raise and lower. Uh, so look at that. Then you can see the values here start to change as the car starts to raise. And, and when we see these values raising our rear vehicle, is that 10 millimeters, 13, 13, and eight from left, and they keep going up. And they'll go up until you go hit that 60. And you can see this value keep moving. So I'm going to exit that. See, they're still going up. It does take a little bit of time for the whole vehicle to raise. And that's only if your vehicle has air suspension, though. So you can do that with any of the control modules. You can enter. You can look at the data. You can do some tests. A lot of them have to, uh, active tests or big directional tests some units do not like if you enter your airbag control module in this case we enter the uh, hybrid battery system there is no active test that you can do here but uh, the same thing if you entered your airbag control module you're not going to have any active tests that you can do there but you can still read codes clear codes and you can also um there's not going to be anything in the airbag module in this car even though it says active test there but you can and then you can also look at live data for that control module so that's how you can get into all the control units on your car your cars today don't have just one big engine control unit uh, a lot of the basic simple scanners that's all they, they can get to they can only get to the engine control unit but your car has a control 
model for everything it's that now this is um this car has a lot of control units but most cars even the more basic cars today they're going to have about 20 to 30 control units on them you're going to have uh, abs and tpms and you're going to have transmission control unit and those are all different systems that basic code readers are not are not able to get into these systems read them or look at live data or anything like that all all they're getting to is to the engine control unit and that's it but anyway last thing you can hit report here scroll to the bottom you can get a whole list of the codes and then what you can do hit erase and again whatever is a current issue is still going to come back but whatever is a stored code is going to clear so in this case for example some codes will clear and some will still stay there but uh in this uh, you can see instrument cluster will clear that code it was a uh, it was a stored code so any code that has stored status they're going to clear it's clearing it so it's going through all of the modules that have faults and it's clearing them and that's it that's how you get into the control units of your car and do troubleshooting thank you for watching mechanic where you can be the mechanic